Alright guys, I am back and we're going to do a quick little episode on covers and I'm going to be using a lot of these papers because they are thicker, they're double sided. So I think, I think we'll use this one for sure. And then, like I said, there's all kinds in this one. So I think I'll make like four covers for now. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's one. And then, I kind of like that one for a cover. Do you remember buying this paper pack for me, Grace? I don't want to look cute as a cover. No, but I did a good job picking it out. You did do a good job picking it out. And then, have you told your friends that I'm a good gift giver? I think they know that you're a good gift giver. I think I've said that before. You know, I think we'll use some of these as pockets um, in maybe a next video. And I think this one, so I'm, that's probably. No, that won't be a very good one because the middle section is uh, upside down. Do you see that? Oh, no, okay. So I guess if you put it upright, it would still be okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, and I like this one too. So. <laughs> All right, so maybe a few more than what I originally thought. Um, so we'll use some of this one to back the, the thing, because since, since we're not using overly thick stuff, then I always feel like we need to like do some backing or put some larger pockets in kind of where the weak spots are going to be. So let's see. Okay. So this one was definitely a cover because I love the green one back there. And I'm going to cut the branding strip off of this one and then we will do it'll be nine by six so take the nine in this direction and then we'll save that little strip okay a few of these. And then this one, I think this one might be a backer page. I'm not sure. We'll see about that. And this one is a cover. Let's get rid of that because it always messes with my head when we um, when I do it the other way there. Do you see that? How that one is upside down. I don't really think we're going to get away from it. Not unless we do sideways and then fold it like in half this way to where it's like vertical versus horizontal. Or do we care that much? Or I could just do it this way. That's what I think I'll do. Okay, so nine this way. And it kind of cuts that off there to where you don't really see it. And you don't really notice that at the top there. Okay, so that's three. Really like that one too. Just 
think this is so pretty. So, so pretty. adorable so we might get more covers out of this this one's here and like I said guys we're not these are going to be more traditional junk journals so if um what what you plan to use or send um you don't feel like really matches these don't worry about that because that's kind of the kind of the magic of what we're doing isn't it like we want we want the receiver to know that there's a ton of people in the world who care about them, right? That's, that's part of the, part of why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, because I don't remember if this paper cracks at all, so I'm going to go ahead and um, use my... <coughs> Sorry, guys. Holy moly. Oh, sorry. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the... Um, uh, scoreboard to score it to help mitigate any any cracking here. Whew, that was a tough sneeze. Not gonna lie, that one that one I felt in in my soul. It's that time of year, isn't it? I can't tell if it's a sinus infection or just allergies. I guess I don't really feel like crud like you would expect to feel like if you had, when you have like a sinus infection or whatever. So, it very well could just be allergies. My goodness, those kittens are like crazy this morning. I keep hope, I opened the window for them, hoping that they would go gallivant outside this morning, but no such luck. <laughs> it went out for like two minutes and it's, I guess, much more fun to play around in the house, I guess. Oh, but do we, I think I want that as the cover. That would look pretty, huh? Oh, I like that. Yeah, but we want it lined up there as best we can. I'm gonna have to pull a little towards me. No, come on. <laughs> Apparently this might just be a video of what not to do. How's that sound? Cover one. And this one here for cover two. You know, we could make this one a little more masculine if we wanted to. That would be good. Um, I can't remember. I might actually still have a couple of things that would work well for a masculine journal. Or less freely, right? Okay, so how many is that? Six? 
Yep, that's six. So we'll work with those for a minute. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of cracking, maybe a little bit on that one, but keep in mind, we always um, put fabric and laces and stuff on the spine, so um, we should be okay that way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is for the most part, I'm gonna cut all of these pieces down to nine, and then we'll make um, one of the inside pockets um, to reinforce the outside. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and sew around the edges. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and we'll just do like opposite pieces there. And if that makes any sense, probably not, but you'll see. And then we'll need a couple more that are Um, I'll probably just pick one generic one out of there and then we'll cut a bunch like that. Because we really need 12 of those pieces. So that's six, right? Yep, okay, so then we need six more. So, and that's what I was talking about, this backer paper. Go ahead and trim off that branding strip. And then we'll go nine inches. Of course, we, I don't think we'll get it all out of this one. But. And see if we took nine, 10, 11, 12, three inches. Is that what this is? Should be close. Three, yep. <coughs> we'll get four out of that one. one we will do at because it's already three inches right so we'll do it at nine inches now that should just leave us one shy I think one two three five six seven eight eight, nine, 10, 11. Yep, that's what I was thinking. So out of, let's see, it was out of this paper pack. Um, I thought there was one that was loose. Maybe I used that one. thinking this one or this one because these I wouldn't necessarily use very much um, for its colors right like it's cute but just not something I would use so I'm just gonna cut this one three inches <laughs> And then by nine. All right, so we're all set. And then we'll have this one. I mean, we really, you know, this really could be a cover of something. Right there. All right. So we got that. Oops. And then keep these handy because we'll probably do something a little little special with those all right so let's prepare these so this one 
go on the back. We'll use this one. That one can go on the front. And this one, do I like the pink? No, I want this one. So that one can go on the front too. Back, front, back, back, front, front. Let's see. I got lost track of how many wear. It doesn't ultimately matter. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I just have equal parts. There's a reason for that. Because then I'm going to take these and do two at a time. Or let's just do this. Okay. Oh, that one's just a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Okay. So we're just going to stick this in a journal. It's not necessarily the journal it's going into. I just want to keep them together, if that makes sense, as far as what we've cut. doesn't. I'm just being silly. I'm trying to control something that doesn't need to be controlled. Aha. Actually, I love that out. I think that'll be cute. Okay. So that one is ready to be sewn. Okay, next one. I can put that. Oh, I already got two in this one. Okay.
You wearing a tank top? Oh. Sorry, I thought you had a tank top on. I was like, um, baby, it's not that warm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just really need to do laundry. Do you want to see the cutest and funniest thing you've seen today? Sure. Okay. So, they have some, like, bracelet making stuff. Oh, the boys? Yeah. The, the ones you babysat yesterday? They really wanted to make some bracelets. And so, Beckett was like, can I make one for you and you make one for me? And I was like, yeah, sure. So his first one, he got it all done. He's waiting for me to tie it, but then he dropped it and beads went everywhere. Oh, no. So he did another one. So, um, here's the first part of it. I told him he was missing a letter, but he didn't care. And it, he was like, yeah, it's fine. So that's the first part. Okay. Do you want to know what the second part is? Sure. Queen of the house. <laughs> Is that what he told you you were? I guess. He asked me how to spell queen, and then I was like, oh my gosh, where is he going with this? So I wrote it down for him, and then this is what he comes back with. That's hilarious. <laughs> I think he might have a little bit of crush on you. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh boy, crushes are so cute, aren't they? So he's got my age, mm -hmm. my name, missing a letter. Okay. Uh, one pink bead, three red ones, three white ones, and three blue ones. Queen of house. And then three smiley face beads. <laughs> that kid's magic. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Would you want to bet they, all three of them, like, dream of being, being your husband right now? Like, because they're all so, you know what I mean? You know, when you're little yeah. and you have a crush on somebody. These boys are cute. I thought you would get a kick out of those bracelets. Uh, yeah, that's pretty adorable. Yeah, don't. I was like, don't play it. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny too. Those boys are hilarious. Mm -hmm. No wonder their mom's tired. <laughs> Dude, I Boone was on one last night when I first got there. Yeah, yeah, he was living nuts. large, huh? But then they were all out by nine forty-five. Oh, that's good. I texted Jess and I sent her a picture of Boone because Boone was out, but his head was like on the edge of the couch, his mouth was open, and it was hilarious. So I sent her a picture of it. And then I was like, and then like 20 minutes later, both other boys were out too. And she asked how they are. And I was like, they're all out. They've been out since like 945. And she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, they must have been tired from school day. And she's like, yeah, usually Friday nights are like, they're usually pretty tired from the school week. Oh, you know what? I used the wrong dauber. Oh, well. Oh, well. What time is our appointment tomorrow? Is it 9 or 11? Uh, 11. Sweet. So I should probably get up early and work. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that way you don't ruin your stuff. These are part of the project, uh, the project, uh, the project journals for Hope. Hmm. Remember I told you about that? That's not what I thought you were doing again, but. Well, I was really just going to stick with journals for Hope, but I think, I just, I just changed it because, you know, how I am. washer and that my comforter and my and the washer don't get along every time I wash that thing it does that or it's like off balance mm -hmm. okay okay help 
Come with your little horsey pals. Okay. I still haven't gotten that refund yet. Hmm. That's dumb. I'm giving them like, what is today? The ninth? Because on my online like thing, it says that it was like, it, it was on my bill on March 1st. Hmm. And I have the direct deposit thing set up. Did you check the mailbox just to be sure it didn't come? I can, because yeah. they might have mailed it, but for that little bit of a refund I got last semester, they just put it in my account. Okay. But I'll give them like 14 days and then, like seven 14 days, and then <laughs> I'll inquire about it. All right. Have a nice time. Hey. You're welcome. So I know you are. a splendid time and I will just see you in an hour or two. I kind of need my keys. Yeah, maybe. You put them on the table, I think. Yeah. I mean, that might be a important thing to have. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. All right, goodbye. All right, goodbye. Drive safe. Okay. All right, guys. We are rounding out these but I think we're going to put the a small pocket on these guys first because I'm a big fan of using up all of it as you go and not having tons of scraps these days and then I will pause the video and go sew them and then we'll come back, or I'll go sew them, come back, and show you kind of what, what's what. Okay. Now, if memory serves, these should be, should be enough, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Yep, so I'll have three extra. So then I'm going to, but then do we want to do, just cut another three? So it's kind of, I think I do. Okay. Because we have this one, remember? So that's what we'll do. I'll just cut another three by, three by threes are what these are. Um. Oh, that was going to be another cover. That's okay. It doesn't need to be. That's why we cut it the way we cut it, right? have one extra, which we'll figure out a spot for that one. ones with the so that one like that yeah, like that one I guess it really doesn't matter does it not one bit not one bit at all except for that was a little bit longer and 
this doesn't really matter what side it goes on. Three. The only thing that matters is the uprightness of it. Directionally, I guess. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I cut too many at one time. One of the last ones. it was right over there okay all right and again we can use either uh, I don't really like those sides so. So I'm doing those because I know that's the side that I want. So now comes the um, deciding which ones go with which. Okay, so I think I won't do that one, but this one I think will look nice. And I'm going to do my best to line it up with this edge and any extra I'll just trim off, okay? I want it to line up with this and like I said I'll just trim off the edges easy peasy I'd assume we'll have on each one of them we'll have just a tiny bit we'll need to trim off anyways so oops as I take all the rest of the pockets off the the table there. Okay, there's one, and again, we'll just need to trim just a tiny bit off here, and that one looks pretty good. Okay. Here probably won't make much of a difference, but I just love that paper. What do I do with that? That side. Yeah, I kind of like it that way. Okay. Guess one of the next things we'll um, need to do is. Um, Uh, 
after this, then we'll need to get the signatures all ready. I haven't quite decided what kind of papers we're using in these things yet. another one. And these are going up quick, huh? Okay, maybe, nope, not enough difference there. That will be. And that one. Okay, that'll work good. Also thinking we could just take some of the ephemera I've already made too, because I have baskets and baskets of pre-made ephemera as well. So if we are not, if we didn't do that, then we could at least steal some of the ideas. come up with the other thing I was thinking about before I went to bed the other night was that we need to come up with a uh, a like little letter or something to them about it being a little journal of hope and that we find like we think or we hope the journal finds you well or um, gives you encouragement to start journaling or you know, I also had a thought. I don't know how long we'll do this project. Hopefully, like, it's more or less like a forever type of deal, right? I got to thinking, um, one of the places we could go is to, like, maybe a local counselor, too. And so, if they know of, of somebody really struggling who could really use a gift, or maybe they would have ideas, right? Um... I guess for me too, it's one of those mental health is such a big deal right now um, that it would be, I think it would be wise to kind of help with that too, right? Don't want to leave any glue, glue boogers on there, do we? Don't tell me I'm shy. Okay, I was like, don't tell me I misgaged that. Darn it, darn it. That one, that one's just a postcard. Let's... so unbelievably close guys and then um, I am starting another project I've kind of told you guys about it or maybe I didn't I'll tell you about it when when we get there um, I'm gonna be my next projects are some prayer journals and some of them will be listed in my shop some of them already will have homes so but 
I, I might have showed you the fabric I'm going to use. Um, but yeah. So anyhow. Okay, so that one's ready. And our last one will glue a pocket in. And... Contrast on that one better. And then maybe... Yeah, I think that's okay. Because it almost looks like a post office, right? Or like an old federal building. needs a little bit of a trim. And voila. Six, right? Six? Yep, six journal covers ready to sew. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I'll probably go sew these and then show that we'll finish it out by putting um, at least the ink on it. And then I'll probably do like another six covers. And then at that point, then we'll kind of like, um, I don't know if we'll decorate them or what we'll do exactly, but, um, and these will like, these will be airing sporadically through like March and April. So they might already be done, um, by the time you see these videos. Um, but just know that I'll, I'm taping like, or recording the process. So, um, you probably won't miss anything per se. So yeah, um, I, We'll go sew these and I will be right back, guys. All right, guys, I am back after these have been sewn and it really only took me about 15 minutes to, to do that. And I really, I'll kind of show you what I do so that you'll know when you're making yours. Um, I typically don't leave the strings on. Um, I know some people do. Um, but I'll show you what I have found is by far, especially if you're just starting out and you're using our sewing machine. Um, I start out with the top, the top of the back um, corner, and then I just sew around the edges and end here too. Um, that way, if you've got any little whatevers on here, um, it will um, kind of um, just cover that up a little bit, you know, like, I don't know. Um, um, and then I usually take my bone folder, um, because when you're punching through paper, you get these little divots that come up, right? Or on the insides. So I just take it around and I think on camera right now, cause I know this video is getting kind of long. So an effort to keep it shorter, I'm just going to ink one of like, do that on one. And then um, I'm gonna ink around the edges with you. And we don't need to do the spines, like the spine area, because it's like it's it won't matter, right? Um, because we're gonna cover those up. So I'm just gonna go around the edges of this one so you can kind of get a gist of where we're going. And of course you'll see these covers in upcoming videos, right? So and I'm not gonna bend it so that we don't put any extra strain on the uh, spine there because the worst thing that happens is when you um, bend that spine too much 
and then it kind of cracks and then yeah it makes it difficult so then you have to like double reinforce it then you know so yeah um Um, so yeah, this is what they look like once you get done. And if you have any that are popping up that, um, I don't know if I can get it up to the camera, like you can see a little bit there, you can just take your ink, go in there and it just kind of covers it a little bit. Maybe do it on this one too. So there, that is basically one cover ready for us to, um, put fabric here to reinforce it and fabric right here to reinforce it and then um, that'll be like in the next video so what I'll do is I'll get the signatures ready right and then um, and then we'll do our gluing and then um, get them all bound in there and then um, we're gonna work on toppers and they're all gonna be pretty similar toppers um, anyways so yeah, look, um, look for that in the next few days and we will just talk to you soon. Bye guys.